G'day everybody, welcome back to the last minute living. Uh, hey, today, back to broom, why not? It's uh, wet season up here, best time to catch barramundi. So I've jumped on a plane uh, two days before the family to try and catch that barramundi. We'll see how we go. Um, we're going to this place called Telegraph. Old mate tells me it's about an hour and a half away. Let's see how we go. So hopefully, fingers crossed, a couple of hours we'll have a barra. Let's give it a crack and enjoy the journey. get on last minute living video. Hey, hello, you like it? are on and it has a little bit of fight a little bit of a head shake still I think kind of small let's have a look what we got is it the elusive nothing jumping out of the water yet and I don't think that's a barra oh hang on nah another catfish look at you bigger than the two yesterday but that's kind of sad. Yeah, don't talk to me about it. How do you think I feel? I'm the one that's got to try and catch and get you off again and put you back. Well, as you can see behind me, there's another day down where the barra has not got on the end of my line. So we're probably about, oh, I don't know, half an hour away from calling it quits. Gary's just started the generator up, so that means it's almost time to start cooking dinner and maybe heading off to bed. Look, we're up for an early start tomorrow morning. The wind's died off and um, the tide should change around about three, four in the morning. So hopefully we'll have a little bit more luck there. Um, in the meantime, have a look what I'm looking at. Where else would you rather be? See you tomorrow. G'day, g'day. I am back in the saddle, myself, my mother. Last minute living. Not, not even lunchtime, but um, I have taken back over the reins of this video. Unfortunately, my dad, um, still no luck on the barra front. So um, this is my brother's first time back in Broome since about, I think about nine years ago, we've worked it out to be. Um, so. We're going to be showing him some of our favourite places. Um, obviously, a lot of the ones you've seen in previous videos, he hasn't been to. So, we're going to tiki tour around. There'll be a bit of fishing going on as well. Uh, hunting down the Barramundi. We'll get there eventually. Um, but we're just down here at one of our favourite spots that we saw uh, in a previous video about Cable Beach being overrated. But... Um, pretty spectacular at the moment I don't know how much of the water you can see but it's about as blue as it gets so I'm gonna go over there and um, 
check out how how spectacular this water is and maybe even go for a dip despite the risk of crocodiles so uh, we should be fine I'm open fingers crossed but uh, let's see if we can find anything cool in the little pool I can't grab that oh that's a muddy all right I can't grab that. That's a big mud. Will I lose right my finger? There. If it gets you. <laughs> Will I lose my finger? That's a muddy. It's big. It's a muddy. Oh wow, yeah, okay. So we found a decent little uh, mud crab. My brother's half tempted to go get it, so. Yeah, get your thong. If we're gonna get it, we're getting it on film at least. Yeah, he's, he's angry. We'll fight your thongs and pick him up. How am I gonna get behind him? He was there in the petting spot before, but. He's beautiful, though. Nice little mud crab. Does that have a legal size? So, we've got my mum, who's supposedly a mud crab specialist, but uh, she's keeping her distance. Clean the lens off a bit. It's still determined. Wait. Need to come in behind him, eh? Oh, he dropped, he dropped the pincer. So now we got to get him, eh? Yeah. Mate, it's still squeezing. Look at that yeah, still. That. Still. Don't let him out of that corner. Still moving. Do you want my phone? That would ruin me. Oh, he was trapped in there already. Mate, right, he's pissed off now, I'll tell you. Well, obviously. See? Get in there now. Put your foot in there. You're Watch out, Dill. Might jump out. We'll run it. Look at that. Um. Yup, it's still hooning around. Oh, it's actually starting to make a bit of an escape. He dropped it. Hey! There you go. Alright, that's in. He's Come in. On. He dropped both claws, so he's in. Oh, <laughs> Put the camera in there so it comes out. He's under there. A bit of a change. We didn't really expect to be hunting mud crabs uh, as we walk down here. Ooh. But we need to put him back in this direction. Ready? Pull back. Yeah. Ready? There he is. There he is. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was too deep. Oh, I touched it. I heard yeah. he's back. He's coming back. He's coming oh, back. La. Okay. Shot soon. Just on the edge of the rock there, Matt. There he is. Get him down. Oh, nearly. Yeah, got him. Got him. Hey! hey! No, no claws, no worries. Mud crabs. Mud crabs. <laughs> Mud crab with no claws. I'll take it. It's one on the board, though. I'll take it. Yeah. There you go. We have ice. Yeah, we do. Yeah, well, don't know how many more of those we're going to spot. Be good if we found another another few more. Alrighty, super exciting. It's all go here. My brother's just caught a mud crab, so pretty eventful time in uh, in Broome. However, he is just now spotted an oki, which I can just see just sitting here in this little little pool. So um, I'm just going to throw the GoPro in there and watch him. But uh, yeah, check this out, guys. Yeah, 
Look at this Oki. You got it? Yeah. So he is hidden just in there. It's pretty well camouflaged. Looks like a rock, so see if we can get him awake. Pretty successful day at the beach. Um, showed my brother coconut wells, got um, a mud crab and an oki. That's pretty handy. So um, we're probably going to be hitting up a couple different spots later today. So still only early. We flew in this morning. I got in at about 9:30. My brother. And my mum, they followed suit not long after. Um, so yeah, we weren't on the same flight because I get points from work from Virgin. They get points from Qantas. So um, yeah, just trekking back to the car now. Bit of forward driving on the way in. It's always a bit of fun. And um, yeah, we'll see what other places we're going to hit up. So fingers crossed there is um, as good as what this spot has been for us today and hopefully we can continue on with this luck and maybe get a barra on the camera for you so it's gonna be that's gonna be it for this spot um, but on to the next one obviously we got a bit of my dad's footage from the day before unfortunately no barra but uh, we'll, we'll keep trying that's what we're here to do so it's gonna be a pretty eventful day today uh, we'll probably finish it off, hopefully. More than likely, I'd say, with a sunset on um, Cable Beach. I do think it's overrated. Uh, but you can't beat a, a solid sunset up here in WA's north. doesn't really get any better. So we'll park up for that a little bit later on. And, um, yeah, let's see where the next spot is. I don't actually know where we're going. Um, but we will soon find out. So... Mud crab, hockey. Mud crab, hockey. Beer, beer, and a beautiful beach. Spot number two. Oh, some movement in the water. Really? Yeah. Um, this is uh, yeah. pretty pretty well croc territory, just out on the other side of Willy Creek Pearl Farm. You can see just through there. So, um, just gonna have a bit of a look around and probably chill here for a little bit. Nice, nice little spot, actually. It's a bit of a trek to get out of here, but um, yeah, it's got the goods. Might need to fly around, see if we can get some uh, crocs on camera for you, but see what the chances are like. 
Some absolute amazing scenes down here uh, towards Willie Creek. Um, we've had a look, we can see a bit of movement in the water, so we've decided to park up and um, throw a bit of a line. So, fingers crossed, I tell you what, if my dad catches a barra here, um, it'll be it'll be something something worth sharing. So, got the cameras ready, and uh, let's see what we can what we can hunt down. So you wouldn't be able to get here down at uh, high tide. This is definitely a low tide venture. However, I don't want to be getting too close to that shoreline there. That's not. What's that? <laughs> little, I don't know, something. There was little baities, but something's trying to take these bait fish that are just, just just offshore there. See if he cruises in again. Maybe throw you, throw your line in them. Oh, try and keep it close to shore, Matt, where these bait fish are. Yeah, might, I'm just in there now, right? Yeah. Now. Might get lucky and snag something. Snag. Whew. Any bites? Nah. Not much happening. Not yet. Live in hope. Always living in hope. No good, but an awesome little spot. Nice flat landing. If you can find it, probably be a good place to camp. Don't know whether or not you can camp here. Um, obviously, you've got to be mindful of the crocs bits and pieces but um, we're going to send it back into town possibly a different location but we're getting hungry and it's getting real hot it's starting to sweat I think the weather's probably it's actually relatively cool it's like 32-ish but humidity is through the roof alright guys so my auntie Julie decided that it was a good time to go down this little track <laughs> safe to say she was uh, pretty bumpy and we just got out here in the middle of the track. As you can see, my brother's doing something there and uh, we saw something fall off. Uh, turns out, that was the awning. Actually, yeah. conveniently enough, um, King's yeah. awning, not to bad mouth them, um, but some pretty decent damage done there. Uh, but that's gonna tie in well with my last video um, on my Dutch awning. I'm not saying it wouldn't have happened probably would have if they were doing what I was doing but uh, well what my auntie was doing but um, part of the game I guess a bit of content for you we've uh, officially lost a um, awning in broom so something new stay tuned let's go we're heading back now we just got in from um, sightseeing busy first day in broom um, we obviously went to coconut wells to show my brother that um, and then we went to a place out near Willy Creek there at the back and then my auntie lost an awning so that was a bit of excitement to uh, end the trip but um, that's going to wrap up episode one we do have plenty of other episodes ready to go we've got um, some ripper days scheduled in so stay tuned because there's going to be plenty more content so if you haven't already subscribed if you want to see more of this um yeah thanks for everyone watching and uh hope you've enjoyed the rest of these videos coming out but um we've got quite a few coming so stay tuned get, get, your, beard, get, get your stubby old in the background <laughs> ready yep go on That's yep there he is yep now where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is that clear? He got me. <laughs> <laughs> he crawled up my foot. It's not that big, is he? <laughs> no, yeah, it is. It's pretty decent. He's, he's, he's alright. Alright, all right, so we've just got back in from full driving. <laughs>
<laughs> My brother just walked through the back there. All right, I'm going to start again. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'll put in the blooper reel. I'll put in the blooper reel. So we, we just got in from...